This tutorial will help you install an SSL on an Apache server. Once your SSL has been issued, download the SSL files from your account. Next, extract the files from the downloaded .zip archive. The .zip archive will include your certificate, which will have the extension .crt, for example, yourdomain.crt, and the CA bundle file, which will have the extension .ca bundle, for example, your domain .ca bundle. You should have these on hand for the installation. Please note that a file called yourdomain.p7b may also be included in the .zip archive. This is only intended for use on Windows and Java-based servers. You won't need this file for installation on Apache. Connect to your web server via SSH. If you don't know how to do that, please contact your system administrator or hosting provider. Upload the SSL files to your web server. We recommend uploading SSL files to the etc SSL directory. Enter the directory. Run the command cd slash etc slash SSL. Open the certificate file in a text editor, such as Notepad on Windows or TextEdit on Mac. Copy the full code to the clipboard. Create the SSL certificate file on your server. Run cat yourdomain.crt. Then paste the code you copied using the right mouse button. Make sure the code does not contain any empty lines. If it does, delete them. Hit Ctrl plus D to save the file. Repeat the same process for the CA bundle file, but use .ca bundle extension for the file. So run cat yourdomain.ca bundle. You also need the certificate's private key file. If you created the CSR in browser during SSL activation, then you also need to upload your private key to the server. By default, the private key file should be located in your computer's downloads folder with the name yourdomain.key.zip. Extract the key file from the archive and upload it to the server. Use the .key extension for the key file. If you generated the CSR with OpenSSL on the same server and don't know its location on the server, copy the command displayed on the screen, update the search start folder to forward slash and run the following command. The result will show all the keys on your server so that you can find the private key. We have posted the link to the article on locating the private key in the video description. Copy the key to the SSL folder for convenience. For the next command, you will need to copy and paste the location of the private key and then etc slash SSL slash yourdomain.key. An example of the command is currently displayed on the screen. Now you should have all the files needed for installation. Run ls to make sure you have the certificate, the CA bundle and the private key. The next step depends on the version of Apache you have. There are two versions. The first is for Debian-based Linux distributions that include Debian, Ubuntu, and OpenSUSE. The second version of Apache is for Red Hat-based distributions that include Red Hat Linux, Enterprise, Fedora, and CentOS. If you're not sure which version you use, run the command displayed on the screen. If you see server details, then your OS is Debian-based. If you receive a command not found error, then you likely use a Red Hat-based distribution. We'll talk about Debian-based Apache first. So if you have a Red Hat-based Apache, skip to the timecode displayed on the screen. Let's review how to install an SSL on a Debian-based distribution. Make sure that the SSL module is enabled by running the command currently displayed on the screen. If the output informs you that the module is being enabled, then you have to restart the Apache service. Run the command currently displayed on the screen. Next, locate virtual hosts running on the server by running the command currently displayed on the screen. If this is your first time installing an SSL for this domain, you should see just one virtual host configuration for port 80 and no entries for port 443, which is used for SSL connections. In this case, you should make a copy of this configuration file. If you're updating an already installed SSL and you see an entry 
for port 443, skip the step of copying the configuration file and continue watching from the timecode currently displayed on the screen. To create a new configuration file for port 443, run CP, then copy and paste the full path to the file and the location and the name of its copy. The copy of the configuration file should be placed into the Sites Available folder. Let's name the copy Your Domain SSL.conf. We use the Sites Available directory because actual configuration files are located in Sites Available, while the Sites Enabled directory is supposed to contain only soft links to enabled configuration files from the Sites Available directory folder. Open the configuration file for the SSL with a text editor such as Nano. Run Nano and copy and paste the full path to the file. If you are updating an installed SSL, you should copy paste the path to the configuration file from the output of the Apache CTL with SFLAG command. The port inside the opening tag for the virtual host should contain port 443. The virtual host block needs to have SSL directives. If they are missing, you can copy and paste them from the corresponding section of the article linked below. Next, update the paths to the SSL files to the ones we created earlier inside the directory. When ready, press Ctrl plus X then Y and hit Enter to save the changes. Next, enable the new configuration file. You don't need to do this if you're updating an already installed SSL. Run the command displayed on the screen and paste the full path to the file. Then run this command to check that Apache has the proper syntax. If you receive syntax OK, then you are ready to restart the Apache service to enable the SSL. If you receive an error, check your configuration files for errors. Run the command displayed on the screen. Your site is available via the HTTPS protocol now. However, the secure connection may not be enabled by default yet. Open the HTTP version of your site in your browser and check if you're redirected to HTTPS. If you're not, you should configure a HTTPS redirect. To redirect all HTTP traffic to HTTPS traffic, open the configuration file with virtual host for port 80. Comment out the document root directive by adding the hashtag symbol at the beginning of the line and adding the redirect rule displayed on the screen. Then restart your server. And you're done! Your website is now fully secured. Now let's review the SSL installation process for the Red Hat based version of Apache. First, make sure that the SSL module is enabled. Run the command on the screen. If there's no response, you should install the module. Run the command displayed on the screen. To complete the installation, hit Y and press Enter. Run the same command to check that the module was installed. The following message should be displayed. To view the virtual hosts on the server, run the command on the screen. If the server already had a configuration file, create a backup to be on the safe side. Run CP, then copy and paste the full path to the configuration file, then copy and paste it again, but add .backup at the end of the file name. Open the configuration file with a text editor such as Vim. Run Vim, then the full path to the file. To edit the content, hit the I button. Make sure that the file has the following lines displayed on the screen configured and not commented out. Listen 443 HTTPS. The opening tag for virtual host for port 443. Document root with the folder where your website is located. Server name with your domain and port 443. SSL engine on. The SSL certificate file directive should be followed by the full path to your SSL certificate file, yourdomain.crt, that we placed in the etc slash SSL directory. The SSL certificate key file should be followed by the path to the key file and the SSL certificate chain file should be followed by the path to the CA bundle file. To save the changes, hit the escape button and type colon wq and press enter. 
Then run the following command to check that Apache has the proper syntax. If the server responds with syntax OK, you are ready to restart your server. Otherwise, double check the syntax of the file that you edited for errors. Your site is available via the HTTPS protocol now. However, the secure connection may not be enabled by default yet. Open the HTTP version of your site in your browser and check if you're redirected to HTTPS. If you're not, you should configure a HTTPS redirect. To redirect all HTTP traffic to HTTPS traffic, open the configuration file with virtual host for port 80. Press the I button to edit the file. Comment out the document root directive by adding the hashtag symbol at the beginning of the line and add the redirect rule. Close the file saving the changes. Press escape. Type colon wq and hit enter. Restart Apache and you're done. Your website is fully secure now.